Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, both comments and questions uh, to both uh, speakers. Um, it's not fair to give me to ask one question. Uh, this, this is very important to me. No? Uh, first, what happened to the Malaysian agreement when Singapore withdrew? Is that agreement still valid or not? Number two, I propose, sorry, I propose, I would like the people of Sabah and Sarawak to consider if it is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the IGP, IGC report that the committee need to sit down to review the agreement, the 18 or 20 point agreement. Has it ever happened? In other words, the agreement has to be evaluated. That was based on the understanding of the people who signed the agreement. Thirdly, if I know second, there was an amendment to the Federal Constitution 1974 or 1976. Initially, we know Sabah, Sarawak, Singapore, Federation, Malaya, they are four partners to this agreement, plus the uh, British government. Five. Now, upon that amendment, 1974, sub, uh, section 1, sub section 2, if I'm not mistaken, whereby all the 11 states, including Sabah and Sarawak, become one of the states of the Federation of Malaysia. Now, I'm not sure whether our leaders at that point of time did realize that Based on the agreement, Sabah, Sarawak, Singapore, Federation of Malaysia, Malaysia, uh, Malaysia, there are four partners to this agreement. And today, Sabah and Sarawak are one of the states to the agreement. I like to propose here, uh, in other words, my question, where do we go from here? Dato and uh, Sedara Baru, I like to uh, uh, consider this point. Maybe the people of Sabah and Sarawak take this to the higher level. I'm sure the British being the partner to this agreement, very unfortunate at the point of time, after the agreement was signed, they left us. I liken it to be a boy is born today and the father left him forever. Can you imagine that? The growth of this boy, mentally, spiritually, physically, maybe deformed. So that is what is happening to Sabah and Sarawak today. Maybe we take it seriously. I just come back from uh, from the House of Commons. Today I came back, I haven't come back home. I spoke like this man, I know. And people take it <laughs> so seriously. And they look at us, what have you been doing? What have uh, your leaders are doing? You know? I think being human being, we must find ways and means as to where we can bring our problems to the higher level. I'm sure our brothers and sisters at somewhere else in the world will understand our plight. Because this agreement is not what we signed. Signed by the people who understood the agreement, who understood the condition. So now we have to do something about this. We cannot just think about it, dream about it. Miracle will happen. It may not happen. So all of us must make it happen. Because this rights our right. This nation, our nation. Look at the petroleum. Oil, huge money, who benefit? Where are the justice? I always go back to the word of God. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> there is a lot here. Um, question uh, is the Malaysian agreement still valid after Singapore's departure uh, given the fact that Singapore signed a partnership agreement? Actually, I asked the same question to the Honorable Lee Kuan Yew. He didn't answer. <laughs> Instead, he said he wanted to cry. <laughs> well, I think uh, I leave this legal question to uh, <laughs> my friend Baru. 
<laughs> but as far as the agreement is concerned, the IGC uh, report and so on, it has only been reviewed once. And that is by government officers only. And that has to do with something financial and something to do with uh, creation of pools and so on. Um, <laughs> the amendment to the federal constitution in 1974, they are about where uh, the status of Sabah and Sarawak from being one of four partners was changed to one of uh, 13. Uh, in other words, we were downgraded now. They actually, uh, they, they, they went against the assurance that we will be a partners. They went against the assurance that we are not the same status as the other states. They went against the, the uh, understanding that it would be a federation, a true federation, not a unitary state. Because the existing Federation of Malaysia actually was not even a federation. It was a unitary system. And now our friends in Semenanjo, who are now ruling the state, other than the Malaysia National, the other, I know, Pakatan Raya Punya State, I'm not here for Pakatan or Malaysia, no? Yes, not Malaysia, but now those people, the, the, the other government are not under Malaysia. They are complaining now, they understand what it means to be a federation. Because now they have no power. Everything is said that the unitary system is one that the state leaves the residual power to the central government. And most of the powers are retained by the state. State autonomy left in the United States. Okay? This is a true federation. But in the case of Malaysia, it has it becoming now uh, obvious that it has become from federation to a unitary. Never mind, it was unitary for the, uh, the Semenanjung states at the time. But we form a new federation. But that federation also disappeared. The long houses that we had, Sabah Punya Long House, Kena Taban. <laughs> the Tabang and we were relocated into a new room under one long house. One Malaysia. Day, this one Malaysia. Day, we have to correct this. Thank you. Uh, hello. Of course, the uh, legal issue of, of, of uh, whether there is still in existence the Federation of Malaysia, it has never been tested. Uh, in uh, any court, of course. But I would, uh, I would tend to agree. I think ten, my inclination is that perhaps it is possible to argue that way, uh, that there was, even though it's an agreement anyway, it was a signed agreement, it was Malaysian agreement. And therefore, if, if one of the partners, the signatories to that agreement, left that, uh, that, that whole agreement, then there is no agreement left. Uh. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I think there's that opening there, there's a the possibility, but uh, who dares to bring it? <laughs> okay, that's uh, up to the I think that's uh, how I look at it. Um, yeah, that's a legal issue. Thank you. Okay, uh, next question, please. Please uh, identify yourself and then uh, ask the question or give your comment. <coughs>